Oh yeah folks, we're going to be stripping the engine down and seeing what sort of condition the inside's in. Keep watching. Right, well, as you know, we stripped the engine down in the last uh, video, and now I've got to sort of sort of have a look at the block and sort of examine the block and see what sort of state it's in because there could be a lot of corrosion inside. So I've been having a little bit of a poke about it. Let me show you. So as you can see, the bare block. Now in the bare block, we've got some waterways here, and I'm under the impression that one of the common things for these is to have the rear of the engine, because that's the furthest away from the pump, the rear of the engine waterways can tend to block up which can cause overheating on the rear pot. Now I had a little look and poke through the, uh, the waterways and that's been, really been confirmed that the, the congestion is in the rear of this block. And as a result of that, I've been poking down, especially down this one, let me show you. So this is the front of the engine, this is the rear of the engine as you know, and these waterways, this waterway in here for example, was absolutely solid with crap. And I've had to give it a good poke around there and also these other waterways as well. And the way I found best for it to clear is to get your compressor and actually squirt air down there. You'll be surprised at the plume of corrosion that comes out of there. So you just got to persevere by going down the waterways like that with a screwdriver, maybe blowing in from there, having a scrape around there as well. But one other thing I think I've found as well down here, as you can see there, I think we've got a, hot, a bolt which I've taken out of there, which is this, this one here. And that was really tight in there. So there's obviously a lot of corrosion there. And I'm of the opinion that, that may be a drain bolt for the block to drain the water out of the block. So I've got that out and by sticking a screwdriver in there that is actually solid. With what I think is corrosion. Now you can probably see there that if I have a dig about in there, look. This as far as I can see is pure corrosion coming out of there, look. And that should be free flowing. So I'm having to chisel into that corrosion there, which is obviously built up over the years and years. And that's a typical reason why you should also change your antifreeze and coolant on a regular basis so that you, you actually flush the engine through. I mean, look at that, look. That's, that, there's no way water circulating around this rear cylinder here. So my mission now is to persevere with digging this out and getting out all this corrosion and crud in there till I've got free flowing. And I mean, I did toy with the idea of putting uh, some vinegar in there like I had to do in the Triumph Acclaim when I had that problem with the same, well, basically the same problem. But like the Triumph Acclaim, if you don't shift this stuff first, there's no way is the vinegar gonna cut through this solid block of calcium, so to speak. So you've got to chisel away first to make a headway, and then you can sort of flush it out finally. But as you can see there, look, I mean, I couldn't get my screwdriver in there at first, and now I've gone in that far, so. And that's why it's never a good idea to, uh, just take an engine without stripping it down and if you don't take the engine apart and this is the sort of thing that you're putting up against now sure this engine would have run it would have uh, probably done the job without me actually stripping it down but there's no way you can predict that this isn't going to be in there and bearing in mind these are 40 to 50 year old engines and you don't know how they've been maintained and even if they have been maintained well you're still going to get this sort of stuff so let me work on this for a bit and we'll try and clear this a bit more Right, okay. Well, I don't know if you saw there that uh, from me initially only being able to get the screwdriver in sort of as far as the bolt, to be honest with you, about that far, we've now got the screwdriver going right the way in. And when I first put the air, air hose on here to blow through, nothing was coming out apart from just shooting back on itself and coming out here. We've now got air coming through here. So that just shows you that this does link up to that. This is a drain plug. And this was totally corroded in the back here. So. There's a very good chance that that rear cylinder could have overheated. Just something to be aware of. If you do buy an old engine, then make sure that this rear drain plug is clear. But now I've broken through it, there's no way you could have broken through that with just a vinegar solution. You have to get it out and break it up, and then with the rest of the scale that's in lots of smaller chunks, putting the vinegar in there should actually be able to flush it out. So, still plenty more work to do on this, but uh, I'm gonna persevere with it and uh, 
yeah there we go just shows you didn't it one other problem i've came or come up against here with the water pump this was the one as you know which we uh hit broke and it come off i actually brought another one a second hand one off of someone and uh basically this was it i paid 30 i think 38 pounds for this but if you listen to this it's actually shot so they were selling them on ebay for 50 pounds but they got very bad reviews on there that's why i went down the second hand route and uh also i've noticed a difference this is a four pulley one as you can see for a four fan my one off this one was a three fan uh one i was going to just change over the bosses but looking at this as well i don't know if you can actually see there that the two bosses are separate heights as well so this is a three one this is a four one and uh, I'm not too sure exactly what I'm going to do about that now because I can't seem... I've, I've tried drifting this one off to train transfer over, but I can't take them apart. You probably need a hydraulic press to do that, something which I haven't got. So this one I'll probably have to send back, to be honest with you, because it, it's uh, it's grunchy, very, very grunchy, and I can't put that in. So I'm still looking for a three-vein water pump. And as I say, the, the, the actual throw difference, as you can probably see there, is different sitting on the surface there this one sits a lot higher up for the fan to go on so again i don't know whether that's going to make any difference whatsoever this is the one i need so if anyone out there's got one give us a shout so all the engine cases have got to be cleaned up and stuff like that so that's all got to be done i did actually manage to break a piston ring while i was just examining these lucky enough i've got a replacement now so that's all just got to be cleaned up and stuff a lot of people say you should put the new bearings in and stuff like that to be honest with you these bearings are in very very good condition there is naturally nowhere at all so it's a bit pointless just taking uh, and putting bearings in for the sake of putting bearings in it, it, it's, it's a bit of a pointless exercise because these ones have worn to the that actual uh, crankshaft bearing itself so i'm going to probably be putting these back in i've kept the original orders there's no score of my lines on them whatsoever they're absolutely fine and yeah so not worth wasting money when you don't need to I'm not changing stuff just for the sake of changing it. At the end of the day, someone said, oh, well, you've got it stripped down, you might as well do this. Well, how far do you take that logic at the end of the day? I've got the uh, the cylinder head, which is going to go away for a conversion to an unleaded. So that's got to be done. So while that's away, I'll tell them to uh, check that for trueness as well. So that's going to cost a little bit of money. The pistons look all right. They just need to clean up. I might clean them up with a soda blaster. I've got a soda blaster as opposed to getting grit anywhere near them so that's going to be fine and things like the cam followers and stuff like that again all stuff that just basically needs a clean up so all i've got to do is measure the tolerance between the rings and see if there's anywhere on the board i'll buy a honing tool you can buy them on uh, uh, from an engineering shop or whatever or, or ebay or whatever and so yeah that's what all i'm going to do i'm going to carry on cleaning up a few bits and pieces uh, get these engine cases all cleaned and stuff like that. What I really need is a part wash. I haven't got one, but it's something I may have to invest in, in the near future. So I'll see you a little bit later on when I've done some more cleaning up. Yeah.